Megawatt. Hey everybody, this is Steve from Megawatt Radio, and today I'm going to show you how to set up my Pixio. It's my indoor outdoor personal cameraman. So the Pixio is basically my indoor outdoor personal cameraman. Uh, it's a robotic cameraman. The technology is, I don't know, it's kind of too complex for me to explain to you. I just know it has three beacons, and I guess the three beacons communicate with each other, and they communicate with the robot, which is the center part that you place the camera on. Now, there are a ton of professional shot videos on YouTube that you can take a look at to uh, figure out how to actually set this up. I'm not really here to show you that. It's just the one thing I noticed is all these professionally shot videos that they have lack one thing. They don't show it being used for practical use. Uh, the Pixio is being used for equestrian events and it's being used for tennis and hockey and all kinds of crazy things. Even uh, an evangelist who's going, jalapenos, jalapenos. But <laughs> they don't show uh, what I think would be a great use for this thing. And that's as a video blogging tool. Uh, it's always so very hard to get somebody to run the camera for you. So, you know, this is great. I mean, once you get it set up, right. I'm going to show you how I got it set up. And uh, you can you can try it your own way. But uh, I think it's worth it. Now, I had to move in a little closer to the camera so I could show you this. But this is the beacon. There are three of these. They're actually numbered on the back. There's a one, a two, and a three. So you can't really mess them up unless you put them in the wrong place. Now, number one is the first beacon you're going to set up. It's going to be the one you set up farthest away. If you can see this right here, my number one is right on this bottle right here. I'm going to turn it on. Now, the number two has to be set up to the left of the camera. So if you're behind the camera, it will be on your left. And it's cool. They provide these little stands, these little uh, tripods, and they're very flexible. So you can kind of manipulate them any way you want to make them do whatever you want. So I'm going to put that one into place. And turn it on. The third beacon, I know my head's really big, but the third beacon I'm going to place to the right of the camera. Uh, if I'm behind the camera, facing my subject, it'll be to my right. And I'm going to turn that on. And it's good to keep these things high. I think, I'm not sure exactly how high, but in my current setup, I've found that um, keeping it up higher is much, much better. So basically, if I show you my set, here's my set. Um, let's see, I can zoom. This is this is beacon one, right? Okay, beacon one. That's the farthest away from the camera. The camera, as you can see, is set up here. On top of the Pixio robot. Now, beacon two, I'll just pan over to, is to the left of the camera. Right up there on that little beam. And beacon three is over there. It might not be it might not be focused, but I'm using autofocus and you know, autofocus doesn't work that great. Now this is the scene from behind the Pixio, behind the camera. I'm gonna show you now what you need to do. Okay. If you can see right here, I've got my camera set up. Right there, it's zoomed in to my beacon number one. Now this is kind of critical. If you look at any of the setup videos, it's pretty critical that you kind of set this uh, close to the center, as close as you can get it, in order to get the most accurate setup. I'm gonna turn my Pixio on right now. And then basically, it's gonna zoom out. Once it zooms out, I'm gonna move 
to the front of the camera. I'm going to set up, it's either going to be set up your subject or set yourself up. And in my case, I set myself up. <laughs> okay, so now you can see this is terrible. You can see the rafters and the ceiling. Uh, the setup's not that great. So what I need to do is adjust. But before I adjust, I'm going to take my little Pixio thing. This came with it. Here, I'll give you a little close-up of it. That's the beacon. It comes with a watch band. And remember, beacon one. Okay, I'm going to stand kind of like right where it is. I'm going to turn this sucker on. And now you can see, it's kind of zooming into me, right? Ah, so that's pretty cool. Now it's zooming because I kind of preset it before, but okay, we're gonna lower this here. I'm just gonna leave my Pixio beacon here because I'm my own subject. Okay, so now I'll move out of the way. And I'm gonna try to fix the frame. Now you basically want to fix the frame by tweaking this little knob right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a knob directly below your camera. So you're gonna to wanna to tilt it more in this case. So I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna grab my, my little beacon. And I'm gonna see if I'm in the center of the frame. Close. Actually pretty good. It should follow me and it should keep me in this perspective, you know, most of the time. <laughs> Now you can see I'm a little to one side. I'm back in the center. And it looks like I'm in the center there. So it looks like it's pretty pretty well set up. That's how simple it is. A lot of people show a lot of crazy uh, ways, you know, to show me. Now the only thing I notice, it does kind of, see how it's jerking back and forth a little? It does do that occasionally. But you know what, it adds a little character to the video and there is a fine tuning process that you can follow. Because this also has Bluetooth, you can connect a tablet to the Pixio robot and you can definitely uh, fine tune this. Uh, right now I have it on the most sensitive adjustment. So, I mean, just to give you an idea, this little beacon, if I move it a little this way, the camera's gonna move, see? So it is really tracking this to a fairly fine level, if you ask me. Once you've actually got your beacon set up and once you've fine tuned your uh, focus and your adjustments uh, and your zoom, this thing is awesome. So I definitely recommend it. It's a great tool. If you're going to do your own video blogging and you want to move around a little, this thing is great. And as you can see, there's a little jerkiness, but you can adjust that jerkiness uh, using the app. This is Steve from Megawatt Radio, and thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Megawatt.